Welcome once again to the complete free Flutter course presented by yours truly, Ovidus Mazurum. In this video, we're going to continue building our UI over here from last time. So if you guys remember, last time we built just the app bar at the top, and we also had our colors in a map, and we had a couple constant variables to help us along. Now in this video, what we're going to do is we're just going to build the layouts we're going to build a container here and here, and we're going to discuss how to have these nice rounded edges, what we can do for this kind of thing. Okay, so let us jump in. Of course, as you remember, my scaffold already has an app bar and a background color, and I'm actually going to leave this even though I want white over here. You'll understand why in a second. Next, my app bar wants, my scaffold wants a body, and I'm going to make a body widget. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put an underscore in front of body and also in front of my app bar. What this underscore does is it tells Dart and VS Code that this function and this widget are private. A private widget or a private function, private variable, is only used inside this file. So for example, if I went to main.dart, I've imported my home screen widget, but if I put the underscore in front of home screen here, now this is giving me an error. Even if I change it to the underscore, it's still giving me an error. I can't import it uh, because it's private. So I'm just going to get rid of that underscore here, get rid of the sidebar. Uh, the reason I'm putting the underscore is because if this was a real app, I might have a few different pages, and you guys can see the way that I tend to build my apps. I almost always have a body who, which takes an underscore body as a, uh, as a widget. And you can imagine if I have five different pages, each page might have a widget by the same name. And I could get creative with my names, or I could just put the underscore and not worry about it. So that's what I prefer to do. Okay, but now that I have this, I'm going to go to the other side of my app bar and I'm going to make a new stateless widget called underscore body and that's going to contain the containers and the first thing it needs is a column and let me actually open this up in GIMP so I can show more easily what we're trying to do Okay, so here we are. The reason I've opened it up here is just so I can have this rectangular uh, selection tool so I can show you guys what I mean. We have our app bar, which is here, and inside our app bar we had one button, and then we have an empty space there, and then we have our second button. And now I'm going to make this whole thing, the entire page, is going to be a column. And inside my column, I'm going to have all that white here is going to be a container. And then I'm going to round up the edges. And then I'm going to have another container at the end here. And this is what we're focusing on today. Then next time we're going to build this. And then after that we'll build this. But we can close this now. So I have my column, I'm going to give it a children, container, and another container. And for the first container, I'm going to give it a color of my colors, white, refresh. And you can see nothing happened because this doesn't have any size. So I'm going to give it a, I'm going to wrap this in an expanded to we'll make it expand. I'll wrap this in an expanded as well. So now we can see I have my white and my darker color. And if we look here, so this takes most of the space and this takes some space. So I can give this a flex of seven maybe and this a flex of three and we'll see how that looks so flex seven and this one flex three save refresh 
what do we think? That's about right. Maybe it's not perfect, but it's approximately correct. Uh, you will notice that this image has a longer screen than my one. Uh, the reason is that this is made for the iPhone. The newest iPhone, the, the Plus, has a taller screen than most Android devices. And my emulator, of course, is Android. Okay, leaving that aside. So now we have our container and our second container. And I want to give it that nice rounded edge at the bottom. I can do that by going inside container and using this decoration. So I'll say decoration. And decoration takes a box decoration. And if I save this and refresh, it hasn't given me an error yet, but it will give me an error soon. <laughs> and that's what I was going to show you guys. Um, I can round the edges here by using border radius. So I can say border radius here. And border radius will take a border radius. And similar to the edge insets, my border radius can has a few different options. I'm going to give it, uh, let's say, only. And the reason I'm using only the ones you'll normally use are either border radius or all, which is going to give all of your corners a radius, but that would inc uh, include the top ones, which I don't want. Or I can give it a border radius of only, so I can just select the bottom ones. So here I'm going to go bottom left, and my bottom left will take a radius of circular, and then you can give it the size of the radius. So let's try, for example, 50. And also my bottom right will take a radius circular of 50. Save that, refresh, and I broke it. So this is what I was expecting earlier, uh, but it didn't <laughs> want to break earlier for me. Uh, the box decoration has a color property, you can see here. And actually, when you use container and give it a color, this is just a, a shorthand way of saying decoration, box decoration, color. But if you're just giving it a color, you can see this is quite a lot of uh, code to type. So Flutter is trying to make it easier for you so that you don't have to do that. But then if I do have a box decoration, and color of course is a shorthand for box decoration, then Flutter gets a bit confused. So I'm going to have to copy this and put it inside my box decoration instead. And then when I refresh this, now it's going to work. And you can also see that it has the nice edges. So that looks, uh, let's check. Maybe this isn't quite perfect. My edges are a little bit bigger than they should be. So what I can do is go back into my VS Code and I could try 40, for example, and save this, reload this. Yeah. That's about correct. Maybe it's a tiny bit smaller, maybe it's 35. Save it, refresh. I think 40 was actually closer. <laughs> so we'll put it back as 40, refresh it, and yeah, we'll just accept this. Okay, so there's a few things I want to point out about what I've done so far. So notice that we have two containers, one with a white background and one with this pink background. Well, when I give the border radius, I can create a circular corner, but I cannot create the opposite kind of border. I can't make it come out. So if I wanted to start with the dark purple or dark pink, I can't make it go upwards like this. And this is why I had to give my scaffold, where is it? Yeah, my scaffold, a background color of my color's primary, because this makes everything in the back uh, this dark pink. And then once I have that, I can create a white container on top of that, because what's underneath the white container is going to be this part and this part, and that's going to be the default scaffold color. So as a result, my container here, I don't need to give it a color, but if I did want to, I could. Now, what I mean exactly is if I gave this a color of, 
And let's just choose colors dot black. And this should have a capital. You can see it doesn't include these little pieces coming out here. So that's why instead we're going to get rid of the color. And we're just going to make sure that our scaffold has a background color of the correct color we need for these little things. I don't know what's called them. <laughs> the things coming out. So we're actually going to stop over here for this video. I know it's quite a short one, but the next one's going to get a bit more complicated. Uh, as you can see, each of these videos are going to have quite a lot of new widgets and quite a lot of new concepts. So I know if I don't pause often, it's going to very, very quickly become overwhelming. But real quick review. So in this video, what we've done is first we spoke about this underscore to make a widget or a variable or a function private. So this way, this widget is not imported into main.dart when I import the rest of the file. And then afterwards, we spoke about our containers and the container decorations in particular. What I was able to do was give my container a border and I did that through decoration, box decoration, which took a property of border radius, and I gave border radius border radius dot only or border radius dot all if you prefer. And my only took bottom left, radius dot circular and a number, and bottom right, radius dot circular and a number. And one more really important thing, make sure when you're using a box decoration, you're gonna put your color inside box decoration, not inside container over here because that will give you an error. Okay guys, so next time we're gonna continue by building this part over here. But in the meantime, myself, Ovidius, I'm out.